Kim with the K. I come to you guys with a new video. So I know it's been a week or so since I've uploaded a video, but don't worry. I have now my entire April content completely planned out. I'm trying to do that. I'm trying to create a habit of consistency and execution. We're moving into the second quarter of the year, so I'm just ready to like hit the ground running I definitely needed a break so I'm glad I took that time and I've also hired two interns so hopefully that will also help me out and I'm just like ready I'm I feel I'm feeling the creative juices back I had a little like creative what do you call it? like creative block <laughs> so um yeah but I'm back anyways I'm gonna just jump right into the video I'm gonna try to do less talky more video <laughs> from now on but I will definitely have like chit chat get ready with me when I'm just keeping it real chit chat with y'all y'all know for the people that love that kind of stuff all right y'all let's jump to today's video so as you can tell by the title I feel like every youtuber says that but these are my 10 habits to stay motivated and I'll be looking down because I did type them out I feel like that just helps me kind of guide where I'm going with the video and probably just helps y'all kind of get the little nuggets out of the video so I do have 10 habits to stay motivated in this video and they're not in any particular order I kind of I kind of started to put them in order but I was like that's just gonna take some extra time when somebody else's order for motivation may be different so tip number one is create a realistic morning and night routine you can actually stick to for me this has been one of the hardest things to do but also one of the most rewarding when I'm sticking to it um, I know you guys see a lot of morning routines and night routines on YouTube if you haven't definitely look them up and if you'd like to see a morning routine and or a night routine for me definitely leave me a comment down below and also tell me which one you'd like to see first because I'm trying to decide which one I want to do first but I definitely plan on doing both hopefully if, you got, if that's something you guys would like to see but basically a routine is just every day you wake up at a particular time and you kind of do the same routine um, that might be you the first thing you do is read a motivational book or listen to a podcast while you get ready that morning maybe it's do your morning skincare routine in the morning maybe it's go to the gym maybe it's drink um, a glass of water maybe it's grab your coffee walk your dog whatever the case may be just create a routine and stick to it it really does help I notice when I wake up the same time during the week and then I kind of break that by sleeping in a little bit later on the weekends Monday is like a tragedy and I'm struggling so if I could just stick to the consistent routine seven days a week it really does make a difference I think that would be super beneficial for y'all as well and it does help me stay motivated because I kind of already know where my day is going and where it's ending and it just helps ease the day because I have enough stresses okay so number two do the hardest thing first this it's so hard, okay? Because I look at my list and I'm like, mm-mm, I don't feel like doing that. And that's the thing you should do first. And that's what I really try to do. I'm still working on this. But when I get that hard task done first, y'all, everything else is easy. And I get everything done and I can click my to-do list, mark it off, cross it out, check it off. Whatever you need to do, it really does help. So if you just get that hard task out, I know, I know you don't want to do it. That's why it's the hard task, but get it done and watch how much you get done throughout the day number three turn your goals into step-by-step to-do lists I wasn't exactly sure how I wanted to phrase this one um, but basically you want your goal to be the big picture right and you want to kind of break that down into a funnel of things that you can actually do so like bite-sized pieces of your goal for an example if your goal is to save five thousand dollars by the end of the year on your to-do list it could be for this week I'm gonna save ten dollars for next week I'm only going to eat out once a week or it could be even simpler than that where I'm gonna take out a hundred dollars every check payment period or something like that because sometimes when looking at the big goal it can seem super intimidating and almost impossible to achieve so by breaking it down into small little bite-sized to-do list things you can just mark it off and then you'll look up and you'll be like wow I didn't even realize I saved five hundred dollars this month and all I did was just go by what my to-do list said number four use the 10 minute productivity challenge so what this basically is is you set your timer for 10 minutes and then you get as much done as you can so for me when I'm cleaning my kitchen or like just doing a quick clean in my apartment I set my alarm for 10 minutes do as much as I can in that time and for me it's just a lot more productive rather than me just bopping along and cleaning for like three hours when I really only had a certain amount of time to get that done I'm not saying that's the full thorough clean okay like clean your stuff clean stuff but on days when you want kind of want to upkeep things um that's just an example or even if it's just like replying to like emails or something like for me I have a lot of YouTube emails I have to go through and replying to comments and things of that nature so I'll set my alarm for 10 minutes and then get as much done as possible and for me it just makes me feel a lot more productive and motivated to get things done because I know I have to like beat the clock so it's kind of like a game and then I also know that I for sure am getting things done because I only have a certain amount of time I hope that makes sense but if you follow me on my Instagram camera Monet I showed like a little clip of me doing that when I was doing the dishes. I do like law school vlogs, 
Instagram stories edition sometimes and in that Instagram story edition of my blog I showed how I did my 10 minute little productivity challenge so definitely try that to me it's been a huge game changer especially for us busy women and men okay number five read self-help books listen to inspirational podcasts and listen to motivational music so for music you can create a playlist I use Apple music a lot of the time but I do listen to like Pandora and things of that nature and I just have like little playlists that um like for the gym I have like my gym playlist where like I'm trying to like mm, run girl like <laughs> I'm trying to really stay motivated in the gym then I have my more um peaceful playlist like I'm trying to like wind down for the night but I still want to like listen to something and maybe I'm reading while I'm listening to something kind of classical music is great for when I'm studying classical music for me I don't know it's great it just works or jazz or something like that or when I'm cleaning I might want to listen to a certain type of music so making music playlists definitely help because I find that whatever music I'm listening to kind of can put me in a certain mood so if I'm listening to like motivational like uplifting like ooh pump like whatever my music that I need to hear at that moment to keep me motivated it definitely helps me stay on task and get things done as far as podcasts I love Bless and Bossed Up podcast there's several other podcasts that I listen to I'll put them down in the description box below so you guys can check them out but that's like my number one podcast I know for a fact Tatum is gonna get me right okay give me some tips and tricks and really feel make me feel motivated after I listen to it I even listen to podcasts sometimes when I'm in the gym it just makes me feel like super motivated but <laughs> and then um read self-help books and not just only self-help books just books that motivate you and inspire you I also recently got this book and I really am being lazy and I don't want to go grab it but let me go grab it because I'm motivation <laughs> see you can do it too. Okay, so I'm just going to give you guys a few of the books I've been recently reading and just I've been really loving. Some of mine will reread because they're just that, ma that amazing. So, of course, Becoming by Michelle Obama. Everyone needs this book, period, period. <laughs> and then this is the books from Jen that I was talking about. Well, I'm sorry, it's kind of dirty. But You Are a Badass at Making Money. It's bomb. I haven't finished it. All these books are kind of like bite-sized pieced. I really plan on finishing them all soon. Law School kind of tries to hold me back from like extra reading, but we're gonna read so yeah this is another good book you are a badass her first one I think this is the first one that she did how to stop doubting your greatness and start living an awesome life love 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 this book this is another one it's called influencer by Brittany Hennessy I love this book if you're an influencer or thinking about social media influencing definitely read this book I've read it all the way through twice I think yeah, probably twice. I really love this. It really gives you gets you motivated, especially if you're going through like a creative block, which I go through sometimes. I just need that extra push to help me keep creating content. A classic, Blessed and Bossed Up by Tatum. She also has a podcast that I was mentioning. Definitely check this book out. I love this. It's so inspiring and like, ooh, God is my CEO. Come on, sis. Pre <laughs> Woo! I start preaching and holding the book. And then this is the most recent book that I've gotten. It's called 50 Lessons for Lawyers. Earn More, Stress Less, Be Awesome by Nora. Now, this book is not... I mean, it's definitely geared toward, like, lawyer life, and, um, I think as a law student, I can relate, but there's so many good nuggets in it, even for people that aren't necessarily interested in the legal field. I just think it's amazing, and because it's, like, 50 lessons, um, each chapter is a different lesson. You don't have to necessarily read it from start to finish. You can kind of skip around and pick things that really cater towards what you need to hear so I love that but it's just so good so I just want to thank them so much for reaching out to me I think it was um JKS Communications for sending me this book if you guys are interested in any of these books or anything that I'm talking about that is product based or thing like that I will try to leave a direct link down in the description box below I do have an Amazon account so I am an Amazon affiliate so some of the links I may receive just a little small commission if you don't want to like participate in the commission affiliate links don't worry I'll still leave the name so you guys can copy and paste that into your own search engine Google and just like buy it from there or go look at it from there so yeah now that I just went on like a whole like self promo <laughs> but um yeah so I really like reading these books and I, like I said you don't a lot of these you don't have to read from start to finish so I love just like picking up and just flipping to a page and just reading something hearing some motivational things in multiple different ways where there's podcast music and reading it really just gets that positivity in your life I'm so sorry for the light change in the um video I, I'm looking at this uh viewfinder screen now it's because I was holding up the different books colors and things like that but anyway hopefully we're back ready number six limit your screen time this has been a huge game changer for me a lot of times which i'm sure y'all can relate i find myself scrolling just scrolling aimlessly and it's like been two hours and i'm like what how did i get here <laughs> so i try to limit my screen time by paying attention to when my iphone tells me uh your screen time went up last week 
we need to figure that out. So it's going down or staying the same. So I actually went in my iPhone on the screen time area and set when you're allowed to look at certain apps or the amount of time you can look at those apps. So I shut all my apps down at from 11 to 7 I believe and between those times I cannot get my app of course I can click it and say give me a few more minutes if I'm in the middle of something or I can like ignore it for the day but I put in like the passcode but I try to really stick with that and I've been doing that for the past week and it's really been so helpful and beneficial you guys and my screen time has gone tr down tremendously because like I said a lot of times I'm just uh, scrolling or watching a YouTube video that I've watched like three times I'm like camera what are you doing sometimes I'm doing it yes I'm getting motivation from watching videos or on Instagram but a lot of times I'm just scrolling and that's just not motivating for me um, or every once in a while I just need a break from social media so the screen time app really helps me with that because I can just shut down certain apps and boom that's it number seven celebrate all wins even the small ones this is a huge thing because a lot of times we feel like we're still not here or this person just got that why can't I get that or you feel kind of discouraged by what you see especially on social media even if it's just like something small a lot of times um, if you're ambitious like me or you're like influencing or on social media a lot you can feel like I'm still not doing enough but you forget to celebrate the things that you are doing so always take the time out to just celebrate your wins all of them every win and then be patient for those bigger wins and those bigger goals but it's okay to kind of celebrate as you walk climb the ladder get to the top and still celebrate at the top and in between okay so never forget to congratulate yourself and just celebrate yourself um every once in a while it's okay to do that even if you're not where you think you should be or where you want to be number eight know your why so I know a lot of people say this a lot of YouTube videos say this blog posts and things that nature but it's so important once you realize why you're getting up at 6 a.m. once you realize why you're doing these speaking engagements why you're studying for this law school exam why you're doing whatever your why is it really does put things into perspective and make it a lot easier to stay motivated because you know your purpose and your reason behind doing whatever the task you're doing especially those hard tasks that you need to do first but you tend to not do first <laughs> but we're changing that today even if you have to write down your why and sometimes it can be multiple why so like my why for law school may be different than my why for my influencing stuff so always write down your why and know it and if you feel those days like for me when I was feeling like oh creative block and I did not feel like content creating I did just did not feel it I tried to write down my why and now that I have that down and even if it's just something you personally want to have like I might not share everything but me writing down some of the why's and the reason why I'm doing what I'm doing has definitely made me get a little bit more motivated and put a little pep in my step. <laughs> Number nine which kind of goes with the why is take time to reflect and revise. So every once in a while more often times than you probably want to you should sit down reflect at what you have done and revise for what you will do so take your time right now take a make a list of things that you did very well celebrate those and then write down things that you could have done better and then also write down what you plan to do to help those things that you could have done better hope that makes sense I feel like I'm just kind of throwing a whole bunch of words at you guys but I hope somebody somebody catching these gems so my <laughs> number 10 know your limit it's okay to take a break rest is a weapon so you have to know your limit. A lot of times, especially in this generation and in this just time, people are always on the go, 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 and like how much more I can do, which I kind of contradicted the what I just said, but not really. Reserving that for the record. <laughs> but you have to know your limit. You cannot work 24 hours a day because there's 24 hours in the day. You have to sleep. Rest is a weapon. My coach, Charlton coach, says that all the time, like, and it really does make a difference. I know I cannot function. On three hours of sleep I can't do it period okay I know I'm not gonna be productive I know I'm not gonna be motivated I know I'm not gonna just be anything because I can't focus because I'm tired so just know where that limit is which also helps when you have a routine because you've already set up the day to be successful and you've set up the night for a successful day if that makes sense like if you're good the night before you go to sleep at 10 you got everything prepped and ready for the next day you're gonna have a better day and just take a break like I said I take social media breaks Sometimes I just take phone breaks, like my phones are do not disturb, don't call me, don't text me, no nothing. I'm listening to my podcast, I'm reading my self-help book, whatever I need to do. Sometimes you just have to take a break from everything and people. Um, and there may be people in your lives or things in your life that are just negative and they just bring like this negative cloud onto you. It's okay to tell them or be like, look, 
not today I can't do it I need to focus on this or just don't answer it's like hey I'll call you tomorrow and I do that sometimes too and that's perfectly fine because I know my limit okay I said what I said <laughs> so yeah guys that's pretty much it hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give this video a thumbs up and leave me some comments down below which tip was your favorite do you have any additional tips definitely share it down in the comment section I love talking with you guys and I just love seeing y'all interact I love that I love that we have such a positive team squad I don't know what to call us we don't have a name yet but we're gonna work on that um yeah don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and share this video with your family and friends and follow me on other platforms because sometimes I'm just not on YouTube but I do plan on staying consistent I plan on uploading every Sunday Tuesday and Thursday so stay tuned for more content love you guys Later!